Hi Generation Films, my name is Alan and welcome back to another episode of My Face. Cyberpunk 2077 is the type of game I've been waiting for for my entire life. And no, it's not because it's from CD Projekt Red, the critically acclaimed studio who brought to us the Witcher series. It's not because of the promised deep RPG gameplay mechanics or the interesting narrative. It's not even because Keanu Reeves is in the game. No, ultimately what got me really excited for Cyberpunk 2077 is the location, Night City. In Cyberpunk 2077, Night City is the ultimate attraction. This sprawling metropolis is a visual spectacle and extends vertically into the sky and all around you. It sometimes even completely closes you in. Better yet, you get to take this all in from a first person viewpoint. So you can see all the details up close as well. Like this random NPC who just happens to be picking a guitar perfectly animated as he plays the notes. Thanks, Reddit. Just how realistic is Night City? With each new generation of games, developers are pushing the envelope and closing the gap between reality and fiction. Now, obvious changes have to be made to make sure that the game world is actually playable. For instance, Night City is still pretty condensed compared to a real life city, so the distances between a downtown area and an industrial area are quite close and perhaps unrealistic. Even the highway ramps are bunched together just a bit and probably built at steeper angles than you would see in real cities. But this is done to make sure the drives and walks in between missions are manageable and not 30 minute long affairs, which is exactly what the True Crime series did with LA. As exciting as it sounds, no one really wants to drive around in a virtually simulated version of LA. It's just way too large. Night City and the 16 subdistricts of the city encompass an area of around 75.42 kilometers squared or around 29.12 miles squared. Now, 29 square miles is a laughably small size when compared to your average major city in the world, which usually is hundreds of square miles in size. New York City, for instance, is 302.6 square miles. Los Angeles is even larger at 503 square miles. And London is 607 square miles. Night City's 29 square miles of real estate is more similar to the urban centers of one of these larger cities. Manhattan Island in New York City is just around 22.92 square miles, which is smaller than Night City. Metro Manila in the Philippines is only around 16.56 miles squared, which is even smaller. The entire island of San Francisco, on the other hand, is 46.87 miles squared, so I guess Night City could be classified as sort of a small to mid-sized city from a size perspective. And just for fun, we also took a list of American cities that are around the same size as Night City. Maybe your hometown is on this list. Walla Walla, Washington, Grand Island, Lewiston, Idaho, State College, Pennsylvania, AKA Paterno didn't know land, Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, Victoria, Texas, Santa Maria, California, Lake Hovasa City, Arizona, Danville, Illinois, Titusville, Florida, Casper, Wyoming, Sierra Vista, Arizona, Lawrence, Kansas, Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and Boulder, Colorado. And honestly, there are so many more. While all these cities are the same size as Night City, their populations are quite low. They're generally around 50,000 people to 100,000 people. Boulder, Colorado is probably the most dense city on this list, and it's not really what most people would consider urban. Night City has almost 7 million people stuck in that 29 square miles. Boulder, Colorado only has around 110,000. And so a better comparison in population density for Night City might be the Syrian city of Damascus. Damascus' urban area is 29.73 square miles, roughly the same size as Night City, and they have a population of around 2 million people in that area. That's a population density of 67,272 people per square mile, which is around 1,000 times higher than the global average, which is 65 people per square mile. But Night City's population density is even higher, and estimated to be around 230 39,000 people per square mile, which is twice as high as the most dense city in the world, Manila. If any of you guys have been to Manila, you'll know it's probably one of the most chaotic, packed, and traffic-filled cities in the world. So is it unrealistic that Night City could fit twice as many people in that same area? Well, let's take a look at one of the most cyberpunk cities in the world, Hong Kong. And by cyberpunk, I mean it has massive residential complexes streaked with neon that rise above the street level, greatly increasing the amount of people that can live in a small area. 
The Mongkok district on the Kulon side of the river is basically a night city in aesthetic terms. It looks just like the area outside of V's apartment block. It is a high traffic area with tons of cheap electronic stores, jewelry joints selling golden ducats, and tiny hole in the wall eateries pumping steaming bowls of goodness. Mongkok is widely hailed as one of the most densely packed places in the world with a population density of 336,570 people per square mile. So I guess Night City is possible when it comes to density. Of course, Night City is a more complete urban sprawl. It has a wide range of districts ranging from high-end residential neighborhoods to corporate retail office parks to industrial complexes where you would obviously see a dip in the population. Mongkok is a relatively uniform area and it's a very tiny area in comparison and mostly made up of dense buildings with commercial retail spots at the floor level and residential and offices above. Then you have the legendary Kulon Walt City, which no longer really exists, but used to be this mega block apartment complex in Hong Kong that housed 50,000 people within only 6.4 acres, giving this ridiculously dystopian looking area a population density of around 5 million people per square mile. So I guess while Night City's population density of 239,000 people per square mile is a bit higher than any other known city in the world, it is definitely possible. Especially when you consider the verticality of the city, which has multiple levels and raised streets. What is kind of unnatural about this metropolis is the fact that the urban sprawl kind of just ends at the border of Night City. There's no massive suburban area where workers would traditionally live and commute to the city from. Instead, we just see wasteland. So there you have it guys, that's Night City by the numbers. As you can tell, the developers spent enough time doing research to create a realistic portrayal of a city, at least by the numbers, or at least a futuristic dystopian city when there's mass urbanization and a lot of violence. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about these numbers, and also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button down below so you don't miss out on the rest of our awesome content. As usual, my name is Alan, reminding you that life is a movie and you are the protagonist.